Today I'm going to show you my weekly setup process. It is sort of solidified recently, um, so I'm going to show you what I do. So this second tab here is my weeklies, um, and I went ahead and cleared out everything from before March. So this is what I've been in the last week. Um, I like fall colors and I realized I hadn't used this washi tape, so I decided to go with this um, very autumnal theme. But I'm going to do something different this week. Um, I'm Honestly, I picked out this washi tape because it's the same width as this column. So I'm going to try a thing. Uh, so this is the freebie weekly, the, new, the newest weekly freebie from Peanuts Planner Co.'s Facebook page. And I'm trying it out because I'm also trying out some stamping and stuff. You'll see. I'm going for a slightly more decorative look than usual as far as a weekly overview. And then the nitty gritty happens on my dailies. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and tear everything up here. Ah! I ripped the paper a little bit. There we go. And. So the top of the column is where I put projects for the week. So I have here the room of the house that I want to work on. This week it's going to be the office. And yeah, I don't usually pull the insert out even though the rings are kind of in the way. You just kind of write carefully. Um, and then this one here tells me uh, the project, the other project I want to work on. There we go. I'm going to divide it a bit. I thought this might look kind of cool. And the next bit is for the videos I have to work on this week. So this is a little bit of a preview. We're dealing with the week of the 11th through the 17th. So we've got, this one is already done. This is what I'm working on right now, obviously. And then this, so there's really only two videos. But still need work, so that's good. Again, my handwriting looks funky when I can't rest my hand on the page. All right, and So this is, I can tell, 20 millimeter washi, I guess, for reference. And this is the pocket size that I mentioned where you can find this printable. It is free. Awesome. That looks pretty good, if I do say so myself. I like it. Um, and then these I will highlight when they're done. They're just sort of a reminder of what to focus on for the week. And then let's put dates. Grab a pen. This one. This is the Stabilo.88 in the color 51. All right. As I said, the 11th. Okay. 
Okay. Normally these are way too big, but I'm going to see if I can put... What am I looking for? This is the Happy Planner sticker book. I got this as a gift. I tried to use it when I can, but a lot of them are a little bit too big. I'm looking for the sheet. Oh, here. Here it is. Uh, oh, yeah. Good. Perfect. It is a small sticker. It's Come on. Perfect. And under. Toss a little bit of something there. Just for kicks. Make it look fun. Acknowledge the fact that I probably should have chosen a green theme for the week. Just a little pop of color. As an actual Irish person, I feel like I have to like not make a big deal out of St. Patrick's Day because it sort of is a celebration of, I don't know, something that like I don't necessarily identify with, you know, the binge drinking and all of that. I actually um, grew up in competitive Irish dancing. And so we did a lot of shows. It was a really busy month for us, March, growing up. Um, so those are the memories I've got is of like getting up early to march in the parade and working to m multiple shows. It was just a crazy weekend. Um, but anyway, we're going to make corned beef because I like potatoes. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we're going to set up the week. Tab one here is my monthly. It does have a green theme because <laughs> I was thinking, um, all right, I'm gonna put basically the things that are on here, move them to the weekly. So we've got here, story time, we go to the library, Bible studies on Wednesdays. The to-do items are going to go over on this side. So I'm not sure. About this. It says weekly tracker up here, but it's not a weekly tracker. I use this insert for my to-do list for the week and I have talked multiple times at length about using the Alistair method um, for my weekly to-do lists. Let me hang on to this. Uh, let me see. I think, yeah, I'm going to toss this like so. I kind of have to make a gamble guessing like how many tasks I'm going to put here and how much space I'm going to need and if it's going to be safe to block off some of the bottom for decoration. Um, last week I had plenty of room. Some weeks I write smaller tasks on here than other weeks. So we'll see. So those to do items we've got. Monday and change razor on Friday. Okay. And then we're going to go through and look at my other to-do lists. So this is one that I last week kind of tried out basically putting this list on here so that I can multiple times go, ah, I'm going to check something that's on that list. So this is my um, 
what did I call it last week? Next action items? Context. Context. List. Then also the MH list. I moved that. It used to be up here, but I put it back in the MH section. And none of these, or just the one thing. Okay. All right. I don't look at the someday maybe list except like once a month. Uh, so I kind of kind of ignore it the rest of the time. If it's on the monthly, then I know that I want to do it. Otherwise, not going to worry. And then I also last week had um, highlighted a project page to refer to, but I did everything I needed to do for that. But I'm going to check here. That's, yeah, done, done. That's, yeah, that's the whole thing. But this is going to be like my whole week. I'm going to try to declutter and organize the office this week. All right, I think we're clear. So that's kind of small here, but that's what we've got. I'm going to go ahead and highlight these. The yellow looks good, right? Green. I have a highlighter that matches this color, this color, this color, and this color. Um, but we'll just do this. This is just to kind of show, it's not like one task, it's a recurring thing. Because normally I just check to make sure there's a dot somewhere for each task, and then I can move that dot forward or back if I have to benefits of having an erasable pen as well. So that's good for now. Now I have to look at this office thing and how I kind of, I'm not ready right now yet to divvy up everything, uh, but when I am, I got these fun little stamps, see, from a shop on Etsy called Starving Artist Stamps and they're little cleaning icons and I wanted to use some of these on stuff. There's not really a declutter stamp though. So I think I'm going to basically on the, the upper right of each of these boxes or on the sort of right aligned um, put the task sort of that I want to work on in the office if that makes sense. So for example Wednesday is my night off <laughs> because we have Bible study so I'm not going to be doing any cleaning. I'm going to start, I think, with under the desk. So I'll just do this. Oof. See, that's the problem with right aligning. There we go. So that's a start. Um, it's probably what I'm going to be like thinking about all day when I'm at work. <laughs> I can jot some ideas down. And then I'm going to go ahead and set up my first daily. So these are my dailies from the last week. Um, I usually clip them together just so that it's quick and easy to turn to this page for my daily for the day. So I use the same washi tape here, you see. And I'll, sh I'll show you how I do that. So. First, we've got this guy. This is going to come along with me uh, throughout the week so that wherever I, often I will set up my planner, maybe like on my pumping break at work or something like that. If I don't get a chance to at home the night before. All right. Perfect. Now I use this cool washi tape that I got. Uh, on Amazon actually and it's got the days of the week unfortunately tell me when you see it yeah they're listed on backwards uh, so I can't just pull it straight off the spool <laughs> so what I do is put a couple weeks worth on this card so that I can carry that around with me come so Go. 
Monday. Monday. I gotta put three weeks on here. go and Monday so this can go back in the drawer got my Monday I'll put this sort of here I'll do I can actually close these rings and then for the dates I use the little date stamps. So I need to restock my date stamps for the week. These are also happy planner stamps. So I put back last week's that I basically just carried around with me until I needed them. I um I left the nine and just brought the six and used it upside down. Can't do that anymore. Can't just use an upside down thirteen for thirty one. Or can you? Yeah no. Regardless, they wouldn't be in the same week anyway. Okay, so this goes back in the drawer and I carry these around with me we've got this can go back in the drawer too here's number 11 drop the stamp block and ink So this is probably a little bit elaborate as a carry it around with you kind of setup, but it's working. Put that away. And I will, I take this. Um, I bring these along with me. They fit right there nicely enough. All of the little dates I need for the week go in the little Altoids tin. Like that. And then I've got a rubber band that just holds it all together. And I stick this in my purse. And then I will also need this to come with me in my purse. And then the um, markers I need for the week. So take out, I don't need this one anymore, but I do need this one, don't need that. These two are for my uh, pumping graph. This is for my monthly tracker. This is for my content calendar. And this is for my context list. So I just bring the pens that I'm actively using at any given time along with me. And this all goes in my purse with me. Uh, oh, sorry. The stamp block also. There you go. So that is how I set up my week. Um, and I basically, yeah, will add things to my weekly uh, ask Alistair task list as we go. I'll highlight these tasks when they're done, um, fill in, you know, a couple things here, but basically this is just an overview of the week. Um, I will use some of the little cleaning up um, stamps if I find a reason to. And just uh, basically that's how it's done. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. I might, I'm thinking, uh, you're seeing this on Thursday morning. I'm thinking that sometime on Thursday evening, I might try to do a live day plan with me where I'm just uh, showing you how to set up my, my Friday. Um, that will be on Instagram. So if you are interested in catching me live plan with me tonight, if you're seeing this on Thursday, uh, go over to Instagram, Ganchi underscore, and I will see you there. All right. Uh, otherwise, I will see you guys on Sunday for my next video. Have a good one. Bye.